kids, I want to do some training with the kids at home, but we don't know what to do. And I don't know much, that much around martial arts. So keep it simple, make it fun. Remember what we say as well, um, fun, patience and praise, FPP, fun, patience and praise. If the kids are having fun, if you're helping them train, but you're patient and you kind of commend in everything that you see that's great, let them know why it's great. It's a great experience for the kids. They want to please you, they want to do more training as well. Now one of the skills we're going to do is what I call the triangle. Uh, and the triangle is, I've got three items on the floor. I've got something that's blue, something that's green, and something that's red. What they are, it doesn't matter, as long as it's nothing that you can slip on, there's nothing that will hurt yourself. Uh, it could be three plush teddy bears, anything, you know, three things that you can find at home. And the idea is, so the kids are bouncing in the middle, when you say the first colour blue, oh, they've got to move to that colour as fast as they can. Next one, green, you get to the green. You say the red, you get to the red. Blue, red, blue, green. That's it. So that's the first part of the skill. You've got the kids moving really well. And depending on what the footwork is that we're training, you can teach different types of footwork patterns as well. You've got moving forwards to the side. You can even have it changing stance when they get more experienced. When you say the other colors, we say green, changing stance. Red, changing stance. Blue, red, green, changing stance. So you can start to level it up by getting the kids to change stance when they go to different spots. Now you can add martial arts skills on as well. So you've got the footwork. When you say the colour, they're going to throw a straight punch with one of the hands. So we'll say blue, they get to that colour. Boom, there's a the punch. Red, get to that colour. Boom, there's a the punch. Green, but there, shh, there's the punch as well. Then once they've got the punch in, you can keep variety, which keeps it motivational, keeps it exciting for the kids by changing it from a punch, maybe to a kick. So if you say blue, there they are. Boom, it's a straight kick. Red, ah, where is it? There it is. Green, green. Try and catch them out, we're already on green. Ah, can't trick them. Or if you want to, you can even make it sillier as much as you want. So blue could be uh, punch, red could be kick, and green if the kids like to. You can even have them flossing, which I'm not gonna do for camera, for no reason why I do that. But kids love to floss, kids love to do silly things. You can have them dance, whatever it is, whatever their go-to thing is, you know, dragon stance. You know, crafty kid stance, crane stance, whatever, you can mix it up and make it fun. So there you go, this is the triangle, which is great for teaching footwork, great for hiding the repetition, and a great way to level up your martial arts skills. Have fun, see you guys later. Bye for now.